What is this vintage lemon squeezer like thing? The top part can be unscrewed, and the metal part with a handle can be lifted and removed. Inside it looks like something that squeezes lemon and pours it out. It also says made in Germany. I found it in a hipster coffee shop with other old items. Does anyone have a clue? It's a meat juice press from around the 1890s. Back in the late 1800s, these were considered a must-have for many affluent households. During this period meat juice was used as a concentrated form of nourishment for the ill. Also, it was a common belief that there were medicinal powers in beef juice. It was used to extract juice from beef, boiled mutton, tongue, or bone turkey. The cooked meat was placed inside, the crank was turned, and the juice extracted. What are these figurines we found in the yard of my old house in Agra, India? These were found 10 to 20 feet down. We dug a bit more around the site but didn't come across any more figurines. When it comes to value we haven't tried to sell it, but people have offered $100 for 3 to 4 figures. We have yet to contact someone to give us market value for these. Any help you can provide would be much appreciated. My father sent a few samples to the Archaeological Survey of India and Agra, as suggested by many, so thank you. Those of you who said they are terracotta figures, you were correct. They are Portuguese terracotta figures from the 3rd to 4th century. Though there haven't been many accounts of such well-preserved terracottas, they're not uncommon for the area of Agra as the Taj Mahal features many terracotta designs and moldings. For now, my family plans on keeping the figures in a safe place. Why is this toilet shaped like this? I found this in a hospital in the ER waiting room. My best guess for the reason for the design was a toilet where you could vomit and poop into it at the same time. Any idea what is this toilet for? It's a bedpan holding toilet bowl for holding the bedpan vertically so that it can be cleaned out after use. The water pipe on the back of the toilet will have a fold-out sprayer for this purpose. What is this thing I found in a family member's workshop? It appears to be cast steel or iron, no markings on it, and you can see mold or casting seams along the edges. I suspect the use has something to do with rope or something, but don't have a lot to add in terms of guesses or info about its past. The family had it, and we collected interesting old objects. Any ideas? It's a mailbag hook, just looks like an older version, a device used to hold mailbags open in a post office sorting area. The eye opening slid over a horizontal pipe anchored to a wall or counter. The back side of the bag was hooked over the thumb like prong, allowing the bag to hang fully open, making a larger opening in which to toss envelopes. What is this empty red metal frame on the sidewalk in Washington, D.C.? It is entirely made of metal with my rough estimate of around 7 feet high. It seems like it may have held something inside at one point. If so, it seems fairly well maintained for being out of use. Google reverse image search gave me sidewalk and garden, which was very helpful. What is this thing? These are police and fire department call boxes from circa 1860s. Back in the day these wrought iron fixtures served as emergency call boxes. They contained telephones with direct connections to the police station. Once a call was made, the globe on top of the pole would light up, indicating to arriving police officers where help was needed. A century and a half later, many of these fixtures are too heavy to be removed and have fallen into disrepair. Since the call boxes were replaced with the 9-11 system in the 1970s, the phones and the call boxes have been removed. However since 2002, the Arts on Call project has worked to beautify over 100 call boxes by repainting and embellishing them. What is this thing? When you crank it, it lifts the pan about half an inch and then drops it back down. That seems to be the only function, and you can only crank it in one direction. It's made of brass on a dark wood base and has a serial number stamped into it. It was just something a friend of mine has on his desk, and we have pondered it for years. I think he found it at a Goodwill or antique shop and bought it for its beauty and mystery. What is it? It's a Casagrande apparatus or a liquid limit device 
a test used to determine the Atterberg limits of soil. It was developed by Arthur Casagrande, an Austrian-born American geotechnical engineer between 1926 to 1932. It's for determining how much water is needed to make soil behave more like a liquid. You put some wet clay in the cup, make a slit down the middle with another tool, and then blow it until the groove closes. If it takes too many blows, add more water and try again. Too few and you need to add more dry soil. I have used this in one of my engineering classes. I found this in a washroom in London. What is this thing in the middle? It spins around on its hinges but is completely empty. At first I thought maybe soap, but that doesn't seem likely or practical. What would happen if you had soap in there? It would dribble down the sides as you turned it, not into your hand. I found it at the Freemason Society building. Any ideas? Well, it is what it is. It's a metal version of the Bo Brummel liquid soap dispenser. It was advertised as a cleaner and sanitary alternative to the messy powdered soaps used during the first half of the 20th century. The swinging orbs were typically installed in the lavatories of hospitals, schools, train stations, hotels, and commercial buildings. When I was a kid, we had both powdered soap and liquid soap at school. I always used the powdered stuff. It had a nice abrasive quality. I'm trying to figure out this thing I found at an estate sale. I've tried Google Lens and just called it random things to no avail. I thought maybe it was for hanging over a doorknob. Do you have any ideas about it? It's an antique Art Nouveau goddess clock without a dial, made by the Ansonia Clock Company circa 1902. The company was founded in Ansonia, Connecticut in 1851 and moved to Brooklyn, New York in 1878. The company has produced hundreds of different clock models including gingerbread, porcelain, and crystal regulator styles. The business shut down in 2006. What is this funny shaped case? It has an octagonal base with a conical top and an indented underside. I saw a man carrying this case at the airport. It looks like a donut seat case, but can't figure out what it is. Any idea what is it for? It's a travel cowboy hat case. Some cowboy hats cost literally thousands of dollars, and so they have cases. My husband has his in one of our closets. It protects the shape and prevents additional cleanings being needed from dust and other airborne particles. What is this crescent shape cutting plier? Possibly veterinary. It's clearly hand forged with oddly shaped crescent blades that seem meant to cut but don't meet even when fully closed. I found it in an estate auction that included some medical and veterinary tools, but also many regular tools. Any idea what this is made for? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.